Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing something which we've not done in quite a while and that is checking out a new custom modded solar system object. So as you've seen by the title it is a Neptune and yeah I've not actually placed these in a simulation yet. I've only seen like low quality like images from Discord and stuff so they always look better when you uh, pull it in game and I've not actually seen these yet. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing these but yeah it's been a long time since we've done one of these hasn't it? I mean I think the last one was the... The, the modded Jupiter, one of those guys. I mean, I'm just checking the playlists here. I mean, we've done quite a lot of these. But yeah, we have not done a modded solar system object in a while. Just because modding has sort of come to an end, really, because of like all the customization in game. But there's still a few things you can do in the game files that you can't do in the uh, main game itself. So yeah, the last time we was... Yeah, it was the uh, modded Jupiter. Okay. So yeah, that was that was ages back. But yeah, today, we're going to go into new simulation. I'm proud to present a new modded Neptune. So... If I just search uh, new or add here, so wait for that to open. Yeah, the credit to Mad Planet Guy for finding this modding method. I don't know how he did it. I guess he was just experimenting around. But if I just search Neptune, okay, right. So I've named them Dark Spot Neptunes. Now you'll see what I mean when I place these. So they look pretty normal right now. We've got three variants. We've got the uh, Mega Banded Neptune. We've got the Tinted Mega Banded Neptune, and then we've got my good old Ultra Blue Neptune. So if I go ahead and place this in, like that. Check that out. Look how cool that is. And it moves with the camera as well. It pretty much moves with the camera. But it's like a dark spot. So it's not officially a dark spot. But it's just like some weird something in the clouds or like reflective stuff. Or I, I don't fully understand um, exactly what it is. But it gives you another visual that you don't normally get with gas joints. I mean, look at the beauty of that. I mean, if we just make the planet so it doesn't rotate at all. So if I just put it on... Um, so I put it to zero. Uh, let me enter the zero. I'll have numb lock off, don't I? Right, there we go. Just zero. There we go. So now it's not moving anymore. But just look at the clouds. They rotate in there. I mean, how cool is that? So there we go. Let's just speed it up. So you can see all the clouds moving like normal everywhere else. But yeah, wherever I move the camera, the spot follows where I'm looking. I mean, how cool is that? So you can see in the image up here, you can see as I move the camera, I'm assuming that spot would move. Yeah, so it moves, it moves with this camera. Okay. So if you position it correctly... It can look like a dark spot. So this position here, for instance, turn that off. Is that or is that a dark or is that or is that not a dark spot on Neptune? That that is like that generally looks like a dark spot on Neptune. Like we can get closer to it. Like, look how cool that is. That is a that's a dark spot. We we've this is the closest you can get to a custom sort of spot or a storm on a planet. Because previously you had to use uh use Jupiter. You had to have the red spot. And you had to yeah, get Jupiter's red spot on a, on a gas giant. And then all you had was a red spot. But it's still the great red spot. It's Jupiter. But this, this works with any, like, I think you could do this with any planet in general. So, I mean, we can experiment with this as well. But, I mean, look how cool it looks. And it follows the camera, of course. It can be a little weird from some angles. But, I mean, overall, visually, if you look at it from the main sort of view, that looks awesome. So, I've got two other variants. So, we're going to go ahead and check these out as well. So, dark spot two. So, this is the tinted blue one. So let's just go ahead and uh, remove that one. So this is the, yeah, the tint. So what have we got on this one? So again, same again, but the object's a lot more blue. Simple as that. So there we go. I think it looks better on the original. It definitely stands out more on the original one just because it's got a lighter shade of blue as the base colour. And then we'll check it out on the ultimate blue here. I mean, look how crazy this is. <laughs> so here we go. So here it is there. It's spinning like absolutely crazy. But if we just slow it down. I mean, even there, I mean, you can still see it's like a dark sort of patch that appears. I mean, that, that from that angle, it looks quite good. Like, yeah, that, that is awesome. So what we can do with here as well, let's just, um, yeah, so if we just remove all the bands, so then we can see uh, see how it works with different colours. So if we just remove all these, yeah, ton of bands on this bad boy, but yeah, there we go. Let's so just remove all of those. Long process of spam clicking, but there we go. So it's got one band, but I'm assuming this works with any, yeah, look at that. So any colour, I'm guessing darker colours won't work as good. I mean, that, that looks really cool, actually, like that. But yeah, I mean, any colour. So we can see that. So we can go yellow. Like, I mean, that gives you a, that gives you a whole new visual look of the planet. I mean, like, it's not just a boring, like, the same colour. You get, like, this darker cloud. It appears and disappears with the camera. I mean, you can get a, a dark spot on any coloured planet. I mean, look at that. So we can have, like, a deep yellow, uh light blue green i mean we could do it on like a uranus lookalike so that would be that would be a uranus lookalike right there so i mean it gives you a little more to look at in the like the, i think it's like something to do with the higher cloud layer or something i mean if i made it actually look like uranus and put it on its side i mean that's what you would get 
kind of cool. That is, that is quite cool. So yeah, it work. You can you can do it with any object in game. So once you get the uh, special clouds, you, you get them forever. So you don't have. It doesn't matter if you change the appearance of the object. You still get like the unique appearance, um, which is pretty cool. There. I mean, it it, it looks great. Like that that does look really cool. So there you go. One thing I will try as well is does it mess it up if you make it a, a rocky planet? No, it doesn't. So it's not affected by making it a rocky, which is a very, very uh, welcome thing there as well. But yeah, there we go. So that that is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if we go ahead and uh, we'll spawn the original one. I think it looks best on the original Neptune by far. So Dark Spot 1. It 100% looks the best on this one for me. Just because the blue, the main color of the planet is a lot more light and pale. So the Dark Spot really shows up a lot more on this guy. So I mean... Best viewed from certain angles, but still the addition of like a darker blue patch. I think that's a very unique way of modern. I definitely, um, yeah, definitely thought it was worth to um, showcase it in one of these videos. Because it's not often we can do one of these. So I thought there's an opportunity here. Let's do it. And yeah, put another one in that playlist um, of all the modded solar system objects. But I mean, from certain angles, you will get some great, great looking shots. I mean, I think roughly here. I mean, it's cool how it moves with the camera as well. I think that is really, really cool. But if we just get it roughly... Somewhere there, I'd say. I think that that's probably one of the best um, looking areas. So if we just get close to it, I mean, that that genuinely looks like a dark spot. I mean, how cool is that? Like, yeah, let let me know, you guys, your thoughts, opinions down below in the comments. Uh, all credit for these goes to Mad Planet guy as well. So massive thank you to him for um, giving me these. Um, but yeah, they are an awesome addition. I think uh, what I'll do as well is I think I'm going to throw this in my. Um, if we go to my modded solar system here so full of all the modded objects if i go to realistic yeah this would be in the realistic one so right now i've got that object but without the dark spots so if we go all the way to neptune over here so it's the same object just without the dark spots so what i can do simply here is i can replace it and try the new neptune in its place see what it looks like so if i just go ahead and uh, enter it in uh, dark spot one like that so is that is that replaced it no yeah that replace button is a little a little fishy i think it doesn't work sometimes i mean i, I think i have to uh just put that in the sound in the universe sandbox discord but yeah the 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 replace button it doesn't always work so yeah dark spot one that's what we want so i've selected it yep that's definitely selected replace so is it going to replace it oh is it doing something there we go that worked that time so that's what it looks like in the actual orbit of neptune that is that is cool so if we just turn off orbits and everything so that's it there in the, the actual place of Neptune. I mean, I think it, it looks even better with the darker lighting, I have to say. I mean, wow, we that that is a that is a fine looking object right there. I'm loving it. So there we go. And also if we look behind, there you go. Barely even see the sun uh, really. So um yeah, really, really nice indeed. So if we just um get a comparison, so looking at compared to the other planets there, I think it looks great. From I mean, from that angle as well. Dark spot on Neptune. I mean, all the closest you can get to a dark spot. I mean, if you look in the uh Look in the little icon on here, like, that really shows up as a dark spot on here. I mean, it's great. I mean, if you put it in the lower area where the dark spot normally would be, that sort of, like, it looks great. Like, if we zoom out, we can really sort of spot, like, a dark, dark spot, like, appearance. I mean, it really does look like a spot or a storm, however you want to call it, um, on the planet there. You can see it on Jupiter as well, flipped upside down here. Um, that still needs updating, actually, that Jupiter. I haven't actually been, in, uh, been using this system for a while, but... Um, yeah, really, really nice addition. So again, a massive thanks to my planet guy. And yeah, guys, any thoughts, opinions, and stuff down below in the comments. Let let us know what you think because it's a really, really cool, um, unique object. And yeah, the first new type of modding that has been discovered, to my knowledge, in quite a while. I mean, yeah, we haven't we haven't seen the new modded breed or any any modded objects for a long time now. Um, if we just get a comparison, all three of them together. So there we go. So yeah, pick your favourite in the comments as well. Do you think the, the uh, regular, the pale version works? Do you think the slightly tinted one works? Or do you think my ultimate, like, mega blue version looks the best? Let us know uh, down below in the comments. Yeah, thoughts and opinions, very, very welcome indeed. Let us know. Um, let us know. But um, yeah, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's showcase video. And yeah, it's good It's good to get him back to these. I've, I've missed doing these, like, reviewing these, like, solar system, um, like, upgraded solar system objects. I think, I think it looks great. But yeah, um, other than that, guys, yeah, make sure you all have a great day. Uh, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video for the uh, ultimate modded Neptune here, because I mean, this is this is awesome. So yeah, uh, 40 likes for the Neptune. Um, let's um, also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 15,000. No, 16. I, I, I'm getting mixed up. I mean, it's just going so fast. I can't keep track of it. So um, I mean, a massive thank you um, to everyone who has um, subscribed on the uh, journey so far. It's absolutely amazing. It means the world. And yeah, it's 
it's it's awesome. So yeah, just a massive thank you um, to all of you guys to that. But yeah, with me, uh, enough of me babbling on and getting mixed up with my own subscriber account. Yeah, like I said, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.